Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today's look is obviously very different to what I'm used to, but I thought as Coachella is coming up and I guess festival season is coming up, it would be a good chance for me to get creative and I felt my creative juices flowing. So I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna go for it. I did obviously the different color eye um, on the top lid and then bottom lid different and I added some glitter as well. So that's always fun. You don't always get to wear glitter every day. And then obviously the glow on my cheeks and on my collarbones there. It's like a beautiful iridescent color. And then also at the end of the video, I show you how to do this hair look. If you want to know how I achieve this look, then please keep on watching. I'm starting off by using a color correcting concealer from the makeup store. And I'm using their concealer brush as well just to cancel out any redness, any veins that you can see, and to start off a great base for eyeshadows. I'm then going into Zoeva's new palette called Sweet Glamour, and I'm using the color Profusion. This is going to be a transition shade for the eyeshadows, so it's going right in the crease. Now I'm going to use Zoeva's Cheek Palette of the same Sweet Glamour range. And I'm just going to take the color Sweet Escape. This is a beautiful, very, very pink shade. And I'm just going to use this on top of the transition shade we just used. Now for a bit of fun, I'm going to use this beautiful pigment from the makeup store. It's sort of a rose gold shade. And I'm just going to apply this with that same concealer brush. I'm dipping it in some mixing medium liquid from the makeup store as well. And I'm gonna use it wet on the brush. And I'm going to place this right in the middle of the eyelid. Then I'm using makeup store's Moon Dust Eyeshadow in Copper as well. And I'm just going to place that around the pigment. Then using this blush from the makeup store as well called Lush, I'm just going to deepen that pink color around the eyes. For brows, I'm using Zoeva's Graphic Liner Pencil in Armos. This is a very light brown shade and I think it would be good for blondes. I use it because my hair is quite light and I just like that really light coverage for my brows because I do have them feathered. To set my brows, I'm using Zoeva's Brow Gel in Arsenic and I just lightly brush this on the hairs. To prime my face today, I'm using Makeup Stores Serum and I just apply this in circular motions all over the face. For foundation, I'm using Skin Excellence from the makeup store as well. And I'm using two colors. I'm mixing cashew and cinnamon. For contouring, I also use the makeup store's Duo Contouring and I just apply that under the cheekbones, around the forehead and down the sides of the nose. Then using the lighter shade in that palette, I use a brush to apply underneath my eyes, just a highlighter, just to really brighten up the eye area. And then of course, blending both those out with a beauty blender. To bake a little bit of my face today, I'm using the loose powder in cream from the makeup store. I'm gonna go in with this incredible, incredible green color from the Sage Shade and Light Palette from Kat Von D. And I'm gonna use the pencil brush just to really smoke it out underneath the lash line. Then to really intensify that color, 
I'm using Marc Jacobs eyeliner and I'm just going to go on the waterline and also just underneath the waterline. I forgot to show the mascara to the camera but it is a Tom Ford mascara and I'm just applying it to the top and bottom lashes. So today this look is so unusual. I'm just going to make it even more crazy and out there. I'm going to use a glitter liner. So I'm going to use this one from the makeup store. It's in the color diamond and I'm going to use it on the inner corner down the center of the top lid and down the center of my bottom eyelid. To further contour the face I'm using a blush from the makeup store and this is the color nut. It's a very warm bronzy tone. Then using this highlighter in a cream form, it's called the High Tech Lighter by the Makeup Store and I'm just going to apply this on the tops of my cheekbones and on the nose and a bit on the cupid's bow. This is in the colour Luna. So to really, really amp up this highlighter, I wanted it to be a bit more unusual than the usual highlighter that I use. So I went in with this iridescent color from MAC. It is called Soft Frost. More makeup store, I know, but I have been loving their products at the moment and this lip product especially. This color is like your lips but better. It is just a gorgeous, warm pink brown tone I just love it anyway this is the color satin then I'm just finishing off the look by applying highlighter to my collarbones I love finishing off the look like this because it just you know makeup doesn't have to stop at the face you can also go down to the body and it really ties in the look especially if you're you know going to a festival or even going out for an event you want your face and your body to be made up, I guess. If you're doing makeup on your face, why not on your body as well? So that is the finished look. You can stop right here if you just wanted to see the makeup, but for that top bun, sort of half up, half down look for the hair, I'm gonna do that next so you can see how it's done. So I pretty much just messily part my hair. I leave my front bits out, but I just literally grab a bit of hair at the back and put that section into a bun. It's really, really messy. And I feel like because this look is quite an undone festival look, it doesn't have to be fully polished, you know, sectioned off with a brush or anything. To keep that bun in place, I use a few bobby pins. I'm not going to use a hair tie because that tends to cut off the bun and look too put together. So I feel like you put it in a bun and then you put bobby pins in place. It just holds the look in that shape that you want. So now once that's in place, I want to add some real oomph to the bottom of my hair. And what I use is a dry texture spray from Moroccan oil. This really just amps up your hair and gives it so much volume. And it really does hold the curl or wave in place as well. So what I find from using a lot of hairspray, a lot of dry texturizing spray, your hair does look a little bit dull and a little bit dry. So to combat that, I use a finishing spray from Moroccan oil as well. And this just gives back that shine and healthy look to the hair. Let me know what you thought about this look. And if you want to see more looks like this one, then please subscribe to my channel and I will see you in my next video.